Now put my lips to the horn. that statue made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Alright, wish me luck. Remembers me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunku. of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. 
Prior to that, the loss for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of the golden bones and spread them to the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Famu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of the earth spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. You found a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Crystals up ahead. Go over. A dangerous beast. We will take it down together. <laughs> Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel.
Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. On your mark. And I'll find light crystals. Focus up, boy. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. 
But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. I can do whatever you need. And what do you have your eye on? Shoot these, they'll say, Sentry. I think you'll be pleased, young man. Something else for you, then.
Don't let the Draugr get you. Yes, yes, come in. Yes, dear boy. What did we miss? about you, young one? <laughs> so handsome. And we're back to you. Don't forget to walk. Guess it. Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Armor really liked jewelry, didn't he? he even braided his beard. Oh, I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow covered corpse. Side that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. A war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. 
But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. <laughs> Another crystal. Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smash from the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's back. It didn't look. <laughs> But I know that's the order in the song, Armstead. 
Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, one. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Ord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Before the floor collapses. Thor. 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 Thor.
thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But... Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Baldur. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive... You just can't help but break things, can you? If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Ugh! 
See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed Would up. You focus on your damn Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> What does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, Hathor. 
You're done. Shut up! Don't call me that! Looks like they need another lesson. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him.
Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. But this will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? Wait, we were here before. Oh. Which way back? The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Where shall we begin? No, yes, yes, come in. Now don't be a stranger. I think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. If so, keep up. Yes, sir. Hey, I just realized. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Look, back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find all. There's a path to the exit. On the other side.
back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, an open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret for Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in a boat, we had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical wall. Foot in Tears Fall. Another one of these. Another one of these. It's Tear. The middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. He smells something. Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I am that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you 
dumb. That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! That's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Ah! Oops, I think I broke him. <laughs> You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Eyes on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Hey, as forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never mind a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? 
It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! He is ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Oh. Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Use the garden door. My boat is down the path. Go. Hellheim of Time all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me.
Thank you.